everyone. Just a quick shout out to you. Today is day 22 of 62. It's hard to believe how fast this is actually going by and how fun it is, actually. Anyway, today's topic of conversation I wanted to make concerning judgments or judging others, however you prefer to word it. Especially during the holiday season. There's so much going on, more people are out and about, more people are people watchers paying attention to what's going on. And my response to you is to think before you judge someone for what they're wearing, what they're not wearing, the cell phone they have, the cell phone they don't have, the car they're driving, the car they're not driving. The rings on their fingers, or the lack of rings on their fingers. Just to share a little tidbit with you, I have two missionary friends that I support who I pay for their cell phone bills monthly so that they can have communication with their family and the sponsors who have sponsored them in their mission trip. So where normally they wouldn't have a cell phone, they have one. <clears throat> I have people I know personally who have the vehicles that they drive are, I don't want to use the word gifts, but they're helping others do other tasks. So the only way that they can repay them, kind of like the barter system that we used to have before this money thing came along. So in bartering for them helping this other person, that person provides them with a vehicle to drive around in. And it is a very nice vehicle, but it's not theirs. <laughs> I know friends who are on other people's cell phone plans, same case in point where I have two missionaries on mine. And again, they're always judged for the fact that, you know, they're, they have a cell phone and how nice that cell phone is and what that cell phone can do. And I'm just asking you to be cautious and be aware of your judgments if you are judgmental and think about things before you pass judgment because the mink or fake mink that they may be wearing may have been the last thing that their grandparent had grandmother had their mother had before they passed away and they passed it on to them it's just one of those things where we need to be a little more selfless in this world versus being selfish so please, do take time to pay attention, and instead of judging people for what they have or don't have, how about stop and buy them a cup of coffee, have a conversation, ask them. You may learn something new. You may learn something interesting. You may actually realize how wealthy they truly are. You just never know till you get to know someone. Anyway, here's to inspiring you and encouraging you, helping you along the way. Please click the links below. Let's get caught up. Let's catch up. Let's get together. Hopefully we can encourage and inspire you so that your 2016 will be the best yet. God bless. Look forward to meeting you. Have a great, great day.